so what are the behavioral interview questions let me tell you these are the question based on your previous jobs experience or projects so the best thing about these questions are you can follow a star method star method is situation task action and result the next question is why you wanna work here so you need to tell like a story here also how you are so much fascinated about the company what are the different things that uh, will uh, make sure that not only company is growing you are also having a growth in the company Hi guys, welcome to Coding Ninja's YouTube channel and in this video we are going to see 5 tips and tricks that will be very helpful to you to crack the last round of your interview for any role. Okay, so there are various opportunities we encounter and we have prepared ourselves and cracked the initial rounds of interview on the basis of our knowledge and skills. And moving ahead, it is the last round of the interview and it is somewhat different than the initial round. So what should be some tips that would really help you to grab the opportunity that you really want? So we will discuss a brief details and some of these tips are very impactful and that will be discussed in the last. So make sure that you watch the whole video. And before moving ahead, I would like to tell you about the Coding Ninja's YouTube channel. We bring a lot of new videos on the basis of general long videos, short videos, technical videos and live sessions daily. So do check out all this video. Do subscribe to the Coding Ninja's YouTube channel. Hit the bell icon so that you get notified for every new video. Let's get started with first tip. So before moving to the final round of interview, we read out the interview experiences available on the internet and also prepare for the behavioral interview questions. So what are the behavioral interview questions? Let me tell you, these are the questions based on your previous jobs, experience or projects. And when you move ahead, you, there, there can be questions that can be asked like, tell me about the time when or give me an example about this situation. Whenever you encounter such kind of situations or such kind of questions, that means these are on the basis of your behavioral and they want to discuss a project, a job role or a situation wherever you have encountered and what were your uh, situation tasks that you were assigned, what were the actions that you took and what was the result that was after uh, whatever you have done. So the best thing about these questions are you can follow a STAR method. STAR method is situation task action and result so in this star method what happen is you are uh, concise about your uh, story you need to tell your answer in a story type whenever you are telling into a story type sometimes people tend to deviate from the story they are telling so remembering these four keywords star method so this will be very helpful let me tell you an example of a question tell me about a situation when you were not able to solve your uh, project under the given deadline so you need to give an example as a story basis like this was the situation, this is the task that was assigned to me, these are the actions that I took and the end result was this during this situation. So what the person in the front wants to know your mindset and behavior whenever on the basis of the old your experience. Okay. So this is the tip number one, uh, prepare for multiple behavioral questions, revise your past stories, job experience, roles or situations that would be very helpful in behavioral question. Okay. Next defining why. Okay. In the last round of interview, there is a 99% chance that company or the interviewer would ask you your unique background, uh, like uh, why you want to work here or why should we hire you? Yeah. So uh, why you want to work here and why should we hire you? So why should we hire you can be given on the basis of prepared answer like using your unique background and skills that you possess. All right. So whenever you are telling about your unique background and skills, you can mention that I have this experience in this domain or according to the job description, what are the skills required? Uh, what is your experience in that? How you are helpful and how will you help in making a fast grow in the company and all. So these are the few lines that you can prepare beforehand and go ahead. The next question is why you wanna work here? So you need to tell like a story here also, how you are so much fascinated about the company, what are the different things that uh, will uh, make sure that not only company is growing, you are also having a growth in the company. And these are the uh, some of the tips and tricks that would really help you to prepare the answer for these two definitive questions that are always asked in the final round of interview. Okay. 
the next and the third tip is invite to ask feedback this so this uh, shows the transparency between you and the interviewer what happen is is there anything that like uh, you want to ask from the interviewer or is uh, to be clearing all, all the misunderstandings if there is or even to just being open to any feedback what happen is after the interview or something you can just ask a question like is there anything that i can share or you want to ask with me what happen is the answer can be yes and no if the answer is no there is no point uh, no uh, panic i want to say so it's good but on your side you have shown that you are open to any feedback or the, is there anything you want to ask from you okay so the interviewer can ask from you. that's it now the fourth point is ask the informed question in the final round of interview they have already judged your technical skills and everything they want to ask from you all right what happen is whenever there is a opportunity given to you to ask the question from the company you can have a informed questions prepared beforehand i would suggest you for each interview round you can have at least three questions prepared beforehand what can be these questions questions can be on company's goal business strategies and what is the work life balance or what are the different things that company is working on there are many topics that you can ask from the interview also you can ask like a question like um about the proudest accomplishment and different things that they have achieved or how uh, the life uh, what are the projects that they have gone through or the technology they are working on a scale in last couple of months so these are the questions that are very informed and specific don't repetitively ask similar questions in different rounds because that shows that okay person is asking question but the question is the same itself so you should be preparing multiple questions so that you can ask in the uh, last opportunity given to you all right the last uh, tip that i can give you is do not negotiate in the last round negotiation can be on the basis of your uh, job role or on the basis of the salary or different thing until and unless you have the offer letter in your hand and you are definitely going to accept it till then do not uh, negotiate because in the last round of the interview they have not selected you until you have the power of offer you should never negotiate in the last round all right so these are the things that i would like to tell you about let have let's have a brief uh, recap about this for a couple of minutes so that we can go through so it's just like first of all on the basis of your previous jobs and projects and experience and uh, there were questions like tell, can you tell me about the time or example okay last uh, the second thing is define why why you want to work here or why should we hire you the third thing is about asking the feedback from the interviewer about yourself okay the fourth thing can be asking only the informed question so that you know these are the questions that will really interest the interviewer to answer about the firm or about their job role okay and the fourth thing is do not negotiate in the uh, fifth thing is do not negotiate in the last round of the interview until you have the power or offer you should never negotiate in the last round of the interview so these are the all the things or the tips and tricks that i can tell you that you can prepare beforehand for a final round of interview be it of different role it can be role of software development it can be role of designing it can be role of marketing but these are the some of the common tips and tricks that can really help you to grab the opportunity in the last round okay thank you this is all about this video if you have any doubt or anything you can comment them down in the comment section below do like share and subscribe if you really like this video Also I would like to tell you that do subscribe to the Coding Ninjas YouTube channel hit the bell icon so that you get notified for every new video bye bye meet you in the new video